familiar scenes as this. It's a peaceful setting, and it's only the vigilance of bomb and mine disposal men who've got it that way. They never relax their efforts to make sure that Britain's beaches are clear of those deadly reminders of war, and the only way to achieve this is constantly to patrol the coastline. He's listening for the sound of danger, the sound which will test the skill of men whose daily duty means tampering with death. But don't worry too much, for after all this time, it takes something like a bonfire to turn those crusty objects into deadly weapons. Don't be fooled by the casual approach of these experts. They've been doing the job long enough to appreciate that an aircraft smoke marker like this still demands special attention. But on odd remote beaches, some mines defy any attempts to move them. And that's when it calls for a steady hand and steel nerves. Every turn of the tide may reveal a new menace on the beach. And here at Lyd in Kent, as indeed all along the south coast, the bomb and mine disposal men are trained to make certain our shores remain safe for holidaymakers. The charge has been removed, but the danger isn't over yet. Now comes the explosion, and flags flutter out a warning as others make sure that yet another relic of war is safely disintegrated. The all clear, and it's taken only minutes to destroy the bomb which has lain hidden for over 20 years. Don't think that Britain is surrounded by these menacing objects, but it is a fact that a strange assortment of sinister canisters are frequently peeping through the sand. They've even got a collection back at the Portsmouth headquarters which would make any beachcomber feel more than a little apprehensive. There's a silver lining to all this, as you can see, but it helps to make sure that, after all, our shores are safe and the hidden secrets of the sand never fulfill their deadly missions. 